most economists failed to predict the cost of living crisis. This resulted in a delayed response by central bankers and significant hardship for millions of families. But it didn't have to be this way. Economists who paid attention to the quantity of money circulating in the economy saw this crisis coming as early as March 2020. The problem was in the Bank of England's analysis. They use a new Keynesian model that predicts inflation based on interest rates. This model mistakenly led economists to believe that inflation would decrease and prices might even go down during the COVID-19 pandemic. So, what should central bankers do to control inflation? The Institute of Economic Affairs' new book explains the focus should be on broad money, which includes nearly all bank deposits. The idea is simple. If there's too much money, its value falls, causing inflation. If there's not enough, the opposite happens. The proof is in the pudding. Between November 2019 and November 2020, broad money grew by 13.6%. This came after the Bank of England injected £150 billion into the economy through quantitative easing in 2020. All this additional money in the economy resulted in massive inflationary pressures. It was too much money chasing too few goods and services that drove inflation. To maintain price stability, broad money growth should match the growth of the economy. In a nutshell, understanding the powerful impact of money on our economy is crucial to preventing future inflationary crises and delivering strong and stable economic growth.